Hey guys, so uh, tons of squats today for the workout. So uh, we're gonna warm up with a 800 meter run. Then we're gonna go into a glute bridge, uh, but we're gonna do the glute bridge to a song. It's uh, Thunder by Imagine Dragons. Uh, hold your hips to the top of the glute bridge, the whole song. Every time you hear thunder, go down and then back up. If you wanna make that any harder, add a dumbbell, kettlebell plate to your hips and don't touch the ground, just go just above the ground and then back up. After that, we'll do like two to three rounds of 20 bodyweight lunges, 15 wall ball or sandbag squats. If you're at home, any kind of bag will work, bag of dog food, bag of sand, whatever. And then 10 PVC overhead squats. Again, if you're at home, use like a broomstick, whatever you want. And then 10 push-ups. So like two to three rounds of that, just trying to feel the same muscles that you felt for the glute bridge, so all down the back of the leg, glutes, hamstring, get nice and warm. And then for the next piece of the warm up, we're gonna do two rounds. So we're gonna start the first round, like really lightweight, maybe even just like a light barbell or empty barbell. So five, five back squats, five hand release push-ups, five front squats, five hand release push-ups, and then five overhead squats. For the second round, try to increase the weight a little bit, but probably not quite the weight that we use for the workout. The workout, nice little chipper. So for time, 20 back squats, 30 hand release push-ups, 30 front squats, 30 hand release push-ups, 40 overhead squats, 30 hand release push-ups, and then 50 overhead squats. So the squat portions increase by 10 each set, and then hand release uh, push-ups stay at 30 the whole workout. Uh, so these are actually the scaled weights, but I think for now just kind of easing back into the gym That's gonna be plenty for today. It's a ton of squats and a ton of volume So we'd rather make sure we move well with a slightly lighter load uh, than go at that RX weight, which is I think 80 kilos for the guys and like 60 kilos for the ladies for the squats so 62 42 and 35 for the guys is what I put uh, for RX for today, 42, 30, and 25 for the ladies. So you want a weight that you could do like maybe two sets of 10, or you could break it up into like three sets if you wanted, but probably no more than about three sets. For the back squats, it shouldn't be that heavy, not, not yet, not until we kind of get a few weeks into the gym. Uh, the hand release push-ups, if you guys wanted to change that up at all, you can go from your knees if you need to, or from a box, or like I have a barbell set up um, at like kind of chest height. Or if you want to use dumbbells or a barbell or a sandbag, we can do like a floor press or a bench press uh, just to make that press, uh, press stronger. Also for the squats, if we wanted to use a sandbag, uh, dumbbells or kettlebells, those are all different options. You don't always have to use a barbell. It looks fancy, it looks good for the gram, but you don't have to use it all the time. Uh, for the front squats, the same thing. We're gonna bring down the weight. If you want to use something else, like a sandbag, dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever. And then the overhead squats. Again, don't feel like you need to do in that overhead position if you have, especially if you have shoulder pain. We can just go back to that front squat portion, or maybe even throw in some deadlifts. So just have a play around. Uh, one last thing: if you guys do any have, or if you have any like knee pain, back pain, hip pain, whatever. I would say before you go on to try and like and just replacing the squats with deadlifts, try it with a, a bag, like a sandbag, a bag, whatever, food, dog food, whatever. Most of the time that'll take away the, or that'll remove the pain uh, because you're using the correct muscles. So give it a shot. If you're having any pain while you squat, just try a sandbag instead. Cool. See you guys later. Have fun.